So, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Warrior Fighting Vehicle. Now, Warrior, I think, is not really given its due. So, everyone knows about the main battle tank, the Challenger 2 now, I believe, transitioning into the Challenger 3. But Warrior is actually largely utilised, so it's meant to be the sort of power, the punch. Um, and it does really keep up with Challenger 2. It provides support to infantry, and some pretty serious firepower and armour alongside that, and it can operate in pretty difficult terrain. Uh, and it really is an infantry fighting vehicle, it's meant to support infantry forces, uh, and be probably a little more manoeuvrable than the Challenger 2, but it certainly keeps up with its performance. So, the Warrior, I guess, family, uh, has seven variants of armoured vehicles. So, I believe it originally entered service in 1988, but it really has been highly successful for armoured infantry battle groups, so that's supporting actual, you know, large main battle tanks, as well as infantry groups in themselves, uh, providing sort of convoy escort, I guess, as well as fighting force in itself, because as I've sort of said, it's incredibly useful. So it's been used most notably in battle groups in the Gulf War, Bosnia, uh, Kosovo War and Iraq and the thing about Warrior is unlike I guess Challenger, Challenger is more of the heavy firepower, Warrior really has excellent maneuverability and that is core to the concept of an infantry fighting vehicle. The idea is to maximise mobility in order to maximise lethality and survivability for infantry that are I guess utilising it and fighting alongside it and it's enabled key elements from the British Royal Artillery, uh, British Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers to operate effectively within the battle group. So it can effectively support personnel who aren't actively in the fight and it can support battle infrastructure as the fight is going on, which is hugely important if one is to win a battle. So it really has been a highly successful armoured fighting vehicle, so the Warrior can be fitted with enhanced armour. So, as we've said, it's not quite the armour of the Challenger 2, but it can be fitted with stronger armour, and as we've said, it's got a lot of variants. And it is continually being updated, as you kind of have to if you've been in, introduced into service in 1988. Uh, but I believe the most recent one, or the largest recent focus, has been the implementation of thermal imagery to in increase night fighting capability. And that's rather important. And that actually, for uh, the sort of wars that we've seen in the past couple of decades, that has been incredibly useful because it gives you effectively one up on the enemy. So, in regard to specifications, it's got a length of 6.34 meters, a width of 3 meters, and a height of 2.78 meters. So it is fairly large, uh, smaller than the Challenger 2, rather obviously, but it is incredibly, I guess, potent in that sense. It's still a large asset uh, on the battlefield. So in regard to the armament or the armaments, the Warrior has a sort of smaller turret. So if you think about a tank turret, it's got a smaller one of those. It's a 30 millimeter Rodan cannon, uh, and it's designed to defeat light armored vehicles at a range of about 1,500 meters. So it's not really designed to defeat sort of heavy armored uh, vehicles, larger tanks, or defeat infrastructure alone, but it can be incredibly potent in that sense. I mean, I've heard stories of people sort of just driving it into walls to uh, breach buildings because actually breaching those buildings with explosives would be too dangerous. So it's a useful piece of kit as well as actually sort of aiding in battle itself. It uses eight times magnification uh, and image intensifying night sights in order to maximize night and day fighting capability. And it has eight 94 millimeter light armor weapons uh, HEAT, which is a uh, high explosive anti tank 
rockets. So it does have some anti-tank capability, but its rod and gun is not designed for that. And as we've said, largely it is there to support uh, infantry fighting groups, and that will include the Challenger 2 main battle tank, or going into the Challenger 3, meaning that it does have to have some sort of anti-tank capability if it's to deal with sections of armour, as it were. So the Warrior variants include, uh, or the main ones, I guess, are the Artillery Observation Post Vehicle, the Command Post Vehicle, which effectively are designed to act as this sort of node in a network to optimize the battle space, uh, and an IME sort of recovery and repair vehicle. So those are the more utility vehicles, not based upon fighting, as it were. But every single one of these variants, whether it's being used for observation or command or recovery and repair, it is equipped with this 7.62mm uh, chain gun. Uh, even if it's not equipped with, I guess, the other armaments that may be more useful in an active fighting role. So both the chain gun, the 7.62mm chain gun, and the rod and cannon, they have anti-helicopter capability. And that is actually something that I believe comes into play in a rather important sense, in that uh, Warrior has anti-helicopter capability, whereas I think Challenger 2 or soon to be Challenger 3, doesn't quite have that capability. So it allows for, you know, really quite a lot of auxiliary support. Of course, uh, Warrior is famously manufactured by BAE Systems, and I think that's sort of collaboration with Rheinmetall, and it has a maximum speed of 75 kilometers per hour, and the crew is a minimum of three, but up to seven, depending on whether you are actually trying to carry personnel, uh, whether you are actively trying to fulfill a different role, whether you need to carry more personnel for uh, a specific different role. So if it's being used more as a node in a network or command and control, you may need more or less people. So it depends, but I think I'm going to leave it there, sort of leave it short and sweet. I really do recommend that you go and check it out. It's really quite incredible.